everyone, my name is Melina, or if you are comfortable with calling me Mina, go ahead and do that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we have our cake and eat it too. Today we are going to be doing something very special never done before on this channel. We're going to be doing an easy and quick get ready with me for any type of party. So today we're going to be transforming from this to this. Hi, I'm Melina and I'm 30 years old and drive a minivan. Ooh la la. Doing my makeup is something that makes me really happy and I am so excited to share my makeup journey with you guys. So I did just turn 13, happy birthday to me. Gifts are accepted. And I'm not ready to wear like a full face foundation and concealer yet. So I thought I would start filming makeup tutorials for teens with beautiful yet light makeup. Our first step in this makeup routine is to take this tea tree water toner from Lush. You know, the other day I went to Lush and I was considered a Lushy because I shop there a lot. That, that made me feel special, so I thought I'd share that. We're gonna go ahead and open that. Ah, feeling hydrated already. So we're gonna take a cotton ball. We'll just blend the excess in. And that leaves your skin. It's really nice for your skin. I use this every single day. It tones your skin too, so I'm not exactly sure what toning means. I think it's just it's just something good for your skin. So step two is we're gonna take this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Now you have no idea how much I've wanted Milk Makeup. I follow them on Instagram. I love their products. They're animal cruelty free, and they're vegan. I just prime my face mostly for the hydration. I don't put foundation on, which is why usually people prime their faces, but I do put some concealer on. So I just take a little bit on my finger, like that, <laughs> and then I'll just blend it in everywhere. When you um, do your skincare, make sure that your hands are clean or else you get bacteria, which is what I'm learning in science. So yay me for learning new things every day. Step three, we are gonna take Milk Makeup once again, the cooling water stick. It is mini, it's very cute. I got it in my Christmas advent calendars. So yes, we're gonna use that. I just like to put it underneath my eyes. Last night, funny story, I was sleeping on the bed and it collapsed. <laughs> so I did not get a good night's sleep last night. So I usually put this on. I, I don't know if that was relevant or not, but thought, thought you should know. So I usually put it where I have like blemishes and stuff. It, it appears to make them less red. I don't know if that's true or that's just my eyes, but that's what we're gonna do. Step four, milk makeup once again. You think I should get sponsored from all this milk makeup? I don't know how to wink, but that was my try. So next we're gonna take this Milk Makeup. It's a watermelon brightening serum. This is one of my favorite products because I love it so much. It just brightens up your face like, like, a, like a star, like, like the sun. So, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on. I also put it under my eyes once again. I actually put this one everywhere under, like on the side. I don't put it on my nose, but I put it on the sides. You might not notice the difference on camera, but in person, it does look really nice. But I do say so myself. On to the next step. We are gonna take this MAC Mineralized Concealer in NW25. When I'm, when it's like a quick, quick, woo, get, get out the door thing. <laughs> I just use it with my fingers. So I go like that. And it actually blends in really well. So I don't use concealer everywhere. I just use it in the spots. I have blemishes, like on my chin, and on my forehead. And sometimes I'll use it under my eyes just a little bit, like right here. While we're blending this in, I would like to ask you, how was your Christmas, guys? Mine was very fun. Um, I got beat up by four, a four and six year old, actually two four year olds and six year olds. So that was what I did. Just I didn't get beat up, but I, I did get punched a few times. Um, but that's okay. You know, we, we we live and we learn. I don't know what I learned from that, but we do learn. Sometimes when I do have blemishes, I don't put concealer on because I don't really like the look of it a lot. I just I want like the most natural look. So for school, I only wear like a little bit of mascara and sometimes some blush. Also, the decade is almost over. I I didn't. 
I don't know if that's sad to me or not. I feel, I think I'm ready for 2020. I think I'm ready for the new year. I feel like my acting and all the stuff I'm doing is really gonna take off this year. Looking back on things from our decade, one thing I'll miss the most is all those Nickelodeon shows like Victorious and Sam and Cat and stuff like that. Ah, childhood. All right, we're almost done. Now YouTube, I know I'm using your platform, so I don't wanna get this video kicked off the internet, but YouTube Rewind was a little bit disappointing this year. Who am I kidding? It was really disappointing this year. At least it wasn't as bad as last year, so. There's that. Hey, that looks pretty good. That, I'm actually really proud of myself. All right, next step. We are gonna do my eyeliner. I've been experimenting with it a lot and I really like the way it looks. So that's what we're gonna do. I have this e.l.f. one and then I have this rapid black one from MAC. So I like to use the rapid black one first to actually do the shape and then to make it pop out more, I like to use the e.l.f. one. <sighs> Pray that this looks good. I went ahead and did my eyeliner for the right eye. It's, some of you may think it's kind of heavy, but that's the way I like my eyeliner. We're gonna recreate this on my left eye. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Hello camera. So I'm gonna look at the shape first. So I started a bit away from my eye. So first we're gonna draw on the eyelid. And the shape I want. I'm not gonna talk too much in this step because I do have to focus for my eyeliner. Still learning, you know? Like that. And then... so that looks pretty even. If I say so myself. And then we'll draw the shape. And don't worry if it's not straight. See, like that? You can fix it later. We'll go like that. And then we dip down. I have the shape at the bottom, but. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit. I am still learning, so this step is probably that takes the most time in this routine. All right, so I have the shape. It's just kind of like a baseline, like a blueprint almost. Wow, I sound really professional right now. And then we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. liquid one, and we're gonna use that. Now this is the scariest part because liquid, liquid eyeliner, not my best friend. Okay, that was pretty smooth. It's important to make sure that both eyes are even, even if you're a beginner to eyeliner like me. You don't want one eyeliner going like, woo! Okay, that's a bit exaggerated, like, woo! All right, so I'm not gonna touch the wing anymore. I think it's fine where it is. So we're just gonna fill in the eyelid. So I'm just gonna clean it up. And then I'm pretty sure we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a bit sharper. This is the reveal. It's gonna look really nice with like my whole look. But yeah, dramatic eyeliner is something I really like. Actually, I watched this video on Vogue from Doja Cat, and the way she has her eyeliner really thick, it looks really nice. So I was like, huh, I like that. Now I'm gonna do that from now on. On to the next step. <laughs> We're gonna take this palette my mother got me from Korea. It's the Rubico Layering Four Eyes. Now, because of my thick eyeliner, I'm not gonna do like a ton of eyeshadow because that will look a little bit silly. So we're gonna take a little bit of pink and put it on the edges. For that, I actually use a Q-tip, this end, of course, because it's easier to concentrate where your hand is going other than a brush, like this. Well, for me, that is. There we go, it's really nice and pink, which I really like about it. I'm just gonna dab it on, like that. And because it's so nice and pink, you don't need to go like, like a, woo, like a really big stroke like that. You just have to dab it on. Now this look is picking up, and the eyeliner set us back a bit, but it's okay. Ah, uh, there we go. The pink does look really nice, I really like it. You know, makeup looks are really fun. I like to use eyes with a lot of either really dramatic looks or lots of looks with lots of experimenting with lots of colors. I really like bright colors. I actually have a Huda Beauty palette, 
It's the neon one, which, which has a bunch of neon colors, and I love it. It's my, one of my favorite palettes. Or actually, it is my favorite palette. Okay, this eye is done. Now the next eye. Anything on my left side is always a struggle for me. Just gonna blend a bit more. Whoa, hold on. My contacts. Okay, and then our eyes are done. Calm down, tree. So step eight, we're gonna be using this MAC Adobe Brick Powder Blush. Now I really like blush. It is, I use it every single day. Either I'm not wearing makeup or I am. I use blush every single day. So we're gonna go in with my finger because I feel like it blends better because I do it over here. It kind of has that like Harajuku look, which I really like. We're gonna go ahead with our finger. Take some of that. It's a really pigmented color, as you can see. So you don't need to go like, like scratch it in, but just like that, you see? And then the pigment comes out, I'm gonna go like this. I really like pink rosy cheeks. I just really ad admire that in every makeup look, especially like the Korean makeup looks, they use a lot of blush. So I like that. So we're gonna blend that in. And with highlighter, it looks really, really nice. Just make sure that you do blush on only like this little apple part because if you put it everywhere, then it just looks like you have a really red face, which I learned the hard way. <laughs> you know, a funny makeup thing that happened while I was still exploring is that actually in grade seven last year, one day I used my mom's foundation, which was basically kind of orange on my skin. And so I went to school with just foundation. I don't know if I used a beauty blender or something, but I just put foundation on and like, I think I moved it around my hand and I was like, wow, that looks beautiful. And so yeah, so I went to school looking like Donald Trump orange. Orange, orange. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my nose, like right here. And then for blush, I do a bit up here too. You know, a tip for if you're not doing heavy makeup is that put blush on your eyelids. It actually makes them look really nice. Not just for like an eyeshadow color, but it actually looks really, makes them look really, I don't know if this makes sense, it's natural. I learned that in a Beyonce video where she was doing her makeup. Then I'm just gonna blend that out with this a little bit. Just like that. And there we have our blush. Step nine. Using Milk Makeup once again. We are going in with the Glimmer Glow Oil Lip Plus Cheeks. You can actually use this on your lips and your cheeks. Today, I will be using them on my cheeks. You actually just go like this. And then you blend it out with your finger. Oh, it looks so cute. And this one, I know I already put blush, but this actually makes them really pink and really shiny. I also do blend it out here a little bit. Sometimes for this one, you look like this. You may think my cheeks look really pink right now, which they do, but don't worry. But it's okay. And that's it for this step. Step 10. Okay, so my favorite, 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 favorite part of applying makeup is highlighter. I love highlighter so much. It's the best. So today we're gonna be taking the Milk Makeup Highlighter Stick. And also, this Becky G from our Salvaje collection. It's a bit worn down, but it still works very well. It is the Chisma 1 no, 18K4 Luster Dust. So we're gonna apply that, and it's gonna look really nice. Trust me. So we're gonna first go in with a stick. I like Milk Makeup products because you can blend them out a lot. So you go like this. There we go. And first side we're gonna blend it out. Just like that. The fish face is always such a struggle for me. There we go. That one's nice and blended. And this one. There we go. So now we're going with the Becky G one. And for that one, it's a powder one, so I use a brush. To get this highlighter, I put the brush in, then I take the cap, and because it's really pigmented and concentrated, I just tap a bit. And then we go ahead with that. I like to curve it a little sometimes, so I get like a nice highlighter on top too. So then, 
I'm gonna do it again. Oh, a little more tap. I need a little bit more highlighter on this one. I kind of like, I watched this milk makeup video where it was kind of like an alien inspired look. And I thought that was very cool. And they did the highlighter like this. I'm gonna just go in closer because, only because I can't really see it in this angle, but I can. Yeah, that's good. And then we're gonna take a little bit and go on our nose. So there's that, and then I'm gonna take my finger and give a bit and put a little on the bridge. I don't really like putting on my bridge that much, but sometimes it does look nice. And we'll just put a little on my chin. What's that salt thing that guy did? For my upper lip, I'm actually gonna use the stick again. Like that, and then blend it out. There we go. And then our highlighter is done. On to the next step. I actually don't do much with my eyebrows because I don't like to fill them in because they actually do are shaped pretty nicely. My mom says that I should not touch them until I make that choice when I'm much, much older. So yeah, I just comb them out with this brush. It is an eyelash comb too. I also use this to do my eyelash and eyebrow um, care routine every night, but I have a separate one to comb them. I actually just comb them up like that, and then just draw it across to actually make the shape. And then I'll go on the bottom. So we comb this one up. And then like that. Just like that, and I want to make sure they're even. I'm just gonna calm this one down and do it. So yeah, those are my eyebrows. <laughs> now we're gonna apply mascara, one of my favorite parts of every makeup routine. So we gotta make sure, like you see this lash right there? That's one of my, like, that's something I dislike the most when doing, and that happens a lot to me, but it's okay, we fix that. With Kirkland Signature Wipes. So we just put that on like that. And then here we go on this side. Alrighty. Then we do our bottom lashes. Just like that. It actually makes me, the bottom lashes make my eyes look so much bigger when I do them. It's crazy. And the other eye. Just like that. We're on a roll here, people. Lately, I haven't found anything that, that I haven't watched on Netflix, because I love Netflix. So I've been re-watching Full House. I think now for like the 10th time, and I'm still loving it. I really like Full House, because I just, I just like their family. It's just the cool uncle, and the other cool uncle, and then the clean freak dad, and then Michelle, it's so cute, and Stephanie is so sassy. And just all of them. And then DJ and Comet. Such a wholesome show. Such a feel good show. So now we're gonna clean this up. Cleaning them up. All right, this is my mascara. Our final step is I'm gonna take this Patrick Star Mac. It is Twerk for Gift Dazzles Lip Shine <laughs> Lip Gloss. So yeah, we're gonna put that on. And it's important to care for your lips because right now mine are really chapped, but I am trying to put chapstick on every day. But it's important to care for your lips. So make sure you do that. We're just gonna go ahead. It's really cool because it has this little brush. So it applies really nicely. It doesn't really have that much of a color actually, but I think it looks very nice. An option is that I could layer this on the bottom and this on the top in the middle, but I went with this one today. All right, so now we finished all our steps and it's time for me to go do my hair, put on an outfit, and show you the final look. So this is the final look. This is what it looks like on me. It might not look like this on you, but this is what it looks like on me. Thank you, if you stayed for the whole video, congratulations. You win the ability to subscribe to me, if you haven't already, so, Go ahead and click that button because if you don't, 
I will send the FBI to come looking for you. Don't forget to follow my Instagram for some nice content. I post frequently there. If you like seeing me and seeing my face and watching me in videos, then my Instagram, it'll be a nice surprise for you. Hope everyone has a happy new year and had a great Christmas. So happy holidays from my face to yours. <laughs>